It's a cool place. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I have Tom Hopjohn here with me, and we're gonna learn a little bit about Tom today. All right, yeah. Uh, Tom, just maybe go to your single camera and just uh, say your name and spell it for us so that we can put a little okay. thing under so no one forgets that this is Tom, okay? Like yeah. spell it, dude. Yeah, could say your could, name and spell it. Have I mean, you ever done I this could, before? I could like say spelling afterwards, so it's not. No, you can do it now. You can do it now. My name. Okay, my name is Tom Upjohn. Very That's good. T O M. Good. I mean, I. And then the last name is U P J O H N. You're really killing this, Tom. I'm just kidding. Relax a little bit, okay? This is fun. Yeah. Okay. Um. Tom. You do, uh, you do YouTube videos, okay? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sorry? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good, yeah. Um, you like that? You like that? Do you like doing that? They're, yeah, they're, they're fun, yeah. Um, what kind of videos do you make? I, uh, a lot of like comedy ones. I was doing some, some movie reviews where it's like kind of making fun of the movies or making fun of me for not having watched them. and That's fun. I kind of kind of stuff. Um. Abram, is there a certain amount of content you want, or is it just like I just have to be here for 20 minutes? 10 minutes. 10, oh, oh, good. All right, well, hey, you know, things are looking up, right? This is getting better. Um, uh, Tom, uh, I watched some of your videos. Yeah. You know, they were, yeah, they were definitely, um, I found them on YouTube. They were there, and um, you've made some claims in your videos, and I just want to know, you kind of claim this, you know, I want the authoritarian right to kind of make more of the rules that are going on. I, I want to know how you kind of contrast that with um, some of the other implications of, you know, you say you identify as a mask wearer, but I mean, but here you are. So, are you are you like a naturally flip flopping person? Do you not really have any standards that you keep to, or? Um, what, uh, what what do you what do you mean by authoritarian? Is that is that, oh is that like the the video where I'm like the CIA is after me and that's well like, that you know? was very yes that was very comical. Okay. Um, no, I, I'm more referring to uh, the other claims that you've made what? about. You know, um, the like the moon, the, the oh the oh moon. The, yeah, it was like the the funny video where I'm like pretending that the moon isn't real and there's like yeah, a government see, conspiracy. Yeah, some people don't really think that's very funny. They would consider that lying. Well, I I think it's kind of I mean, isn't it like obvious that it's like like you know a joke. I mean, you no, know, we know the moon is real, right? Do we, Tom? It's, is it, this is like a... You claim to have a Christian faith, but you also lie frequently. I would well, say in every video. Well, um, it, how, do you, how do you resolve that conflict in yourself? Um, I mean, it's, I don't think it's, I mean, it's like, it's like playing a character. It's like a, like a make-believe, like a fiction. So it's all fake. Yeah. I, yeah. That's, that's all it is. Uh, Everything's just fake to you. Well, I, I, I I mean, it's you know, like you, you do a comedy video. It's you're you're, you're making a, a imaginary. St it's like a movie, like a. Um, I, I guess I don't I don't really see it as like lying. It's like th there's the the expectation when you uh, okay, watch a video. Let's switch to movies. Um, how many times have you seen Avatar? Uh, w once. Uh, what did you think after the first time you saw it? Um, thought it was. Sort of overrated. Yeah, that doesn't really surprise me. Yeah. 
Um, what did you think after the second time you saw it? What? Uh, I only saw it once. Oh. Okay, done. Um, all right, is there anything else we should know about you? Uh, um, that's, I don't, I don't know. It, that's about it, right? Yep. Good. I don't know. All I, right. I, I make cookies. Well, um, um, yeah, so does my mom. So thank you so much for coming, everyone. I'm getting the signal to wrap it up from. OK, never mind. Um, how's um, your day going? My day? Yeah. Fine. I'm very hungover. You uh, at a, a party last night? Nope. Just preparation. <laughs> Have you ever had like a, you've done favors for friends before, right? Yeah. You yeah. know, I assume you have. Everyone has. Um, yeah. Totally. It's like, you know, someone from your childhood, like, it's, some, it's this phenomenon. Once you've like, once you've made it, people all of a sudden just, they want everything from you, right? And so many times it's easy for me to say no. Um, when you're in my position, you're busy enough, right? That you can be like, I'm busy. Um, but then there's like always someone who comes back with, oh, you owe me a favor, right? It's like, oh, you remember in second grade when you wanted half of my sandwich and I gave it to you? And then, oh, look, 15 years later, I want to use my favor for you to do a 20 minute interview for me because you have an audience and, and, and I can't make it on my own so I need, I need you to like do the interview for me. And, and remember that time that I gave you half of my sandwich in the second grade? Well, well now you need to do a favor for me because that's all it is, it's just a favor. It doesn't matter how big of a favor it is. It just matters that it's a favor, right? There's no distinguishing between, well, why don't I just do like half a sandwich's worth of interview for you? But no, it's got to be a whole interview because that's how it works. A favor is a favor. There's no specific value. They don't teach kids that. It's like if you do a small little favor for someone, they're going to they're gonna just juice you for everything that you're worth later on. And it's going to cost you a whole Saturday afternoon. That's really good, actually. I have a blog just telling you about my journey in the industry. How, um, how's that going? You know, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's really just a labor of love. Um, thoughts come. You write them down. People read them. It's amazing how many people uh, feel touched and moved by it, you know, can relate. And at the same time, they look up to you and they idolize you and that's its own responsibility that comes with it. Um, so, you know. Okay, maybe you're not understanding. Um, Let me work in metaphors. Okay. You know a metaphor? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. um, picture a tree. See that tree? See it? Yeah. So you know how like a tree, uh, it needs water, right? It needs sun, and it needs the rich nutrients from the dirt to grow and to flourish, right? Sometimes, friends, <laughs> it's, like, it's like you're a tree, right? So that's, that's where I'm going with this. It's like people are like trees. And growing, it, you grow in life. You continue on, um, and, but, but does a tree shrink ever? Trees don't shrink, right? Mm -hmm. Right, you get it. Yeah. Trees don't shrink, okay. but sometimes when friends come and ask you for these favors later, it's like they're shrinking you, right? And that's unnatural, that's not good, you, right? Do you, do you feel like you're shrinking? Yeah, or, or here's another one, a little, 
You might need some water or something. You're looking a little pale. Um, it's like you're on a journey, right? You're on a road, and the road is like your career. You follow me? You look a little lost. I think I know where you're going with this. I don't think you do. You're walking on the road. Your friend calls you up and says, hey, I need some help. But guess what? Guess what, Tom? It's a mile behind you. Yeah, yep. Your friend wants you to go back the road you've already traveled. You're way past that point. And then he's going, I want you to go back and I want you to help me out. Even though I'm way past that. Now I need to travel that road again. I, <clears throat> I mean, for something that he could do himself, but he wants me to do it. You know why? Because I'm farther along in the journey. He thought I had a faster car, but you know what? I did. He was working with a, with a, a, a 2009 Honda Civic, and there I was in a Lambo, just gunning it. He wants me to come back. I mean, it, I, it's, it doesn't have to be all about, like, Okay. <laughs> you know, I thought I'd be more relieved when it was the interview was over, but I feel just feel sick. Thanks everyone for watching. This that is was, Tom Upjohn. That's that's it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for you're welcome for being here. I don't know. I don't know. End it with a title card or something. I don't really know. He didn't tell me a vision for anything. I'm certainly not offering my ideas. He's asking you to spell no, your name I'm, again. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, no. Yeah. It's a lot of respect. Yeah, I can spell his name. Tom. T-O-M-Q-U-I-T-T-E-R. That's what his name is. Never accomplished anything in his life except for like a half-baked YouTube video. Stay in school, kids.